Hi YouTube, how you going? Just thought I'd do another video to follow up on uh, the one I recently did about what to wear to Tough Mudder. In this video I'll focus on what shoes to wear. Now this is a shoe that I wore to an obstacle race called the Tough Bloke Challenge. It was a 6 or 7 kilometer run, um, just like a, a smaller, shorter, easier version of Tough Mudder essentially. Now on their event website they said to wear a pair of shoes that you could throw out. So, being my first obstacle run at the time, I went and bought a very cheap pair of runners for about $15, $20 from, uh, I think it was Kmart or Big W, something like that. Um, did the event, after the event, hopped in the shower, washed them off, and lo and behold, they came out quite clean. So, that kind of showed me that you didn't really have to wear a cheap, crappy pair of shoes. You know, it's not necessary. Um, all those shoes that you do see kind of dumped at these events, they actually wash them off and they donate them to charity. So they are able to be reused. They're not just scooped up and put in a massive bin and sent to landfill. Now, wearing these at the Tough Bloke Challenge was not ideal. A, they're not the shoe I normally run in, so I wasn't used to running in them. B, they were very heavy, um, and C, they're not... You know, they're just a cheaper shoe, so they're not as well molded to your foot or they're not designed for speed or anything like that. So having done that back in July, um, I was able to learn from that. And for the Tough Mudder event that was two weeks ago in Sydney, I wore my pair of Nikes. Now, they were my second pair of Nikes, so they weren't my brand new ones. Um, but the idea was, or the benefit was, that A, I was used to running in them, B, they were a lighter weight shoe, um, and obviously that allowed me to kind of run faster, run at a better pace and be more comfortable throughout the duration of the event. And that's a lot more important for a 20k course rather than a 7k course or 6k course. On that short course I was able to get away with these. It wasn't the best but it was over and done with rel relatively quickly. I wouldn't want to run 20 kilometers in this shoe. Um, so for those of you out there who are looking for a good shoe to run Tough Mudder or other courses in, I would say that you can stick to the more expensive brands, the proper running shoes or the proper trail shoes. Just find a shoe that obviously is comfortable for you, that fits you quite well. Um, and you know, for, for me personally, I, I do have, I've had a, I had a meniscus injury in my knee, so I do wear a more supportive shoe. Um, than a lot of other people maybe would. I know there's a big move towards minimalist shoes and that kind of thing, and I can certainly see the advantage of those. Um, but essentially, as long as it's lightweight, you're comfortable running in it, and um, you know it, it, it gives you the support you need, whether that's a little bit more for someone like me who's had a knee injury, or a little bit less if you're, um, I guess, can focus and train in proper running techniques so you don't you know, risk injury when using minimalist shoes, then that, that's that's the best thing for you. So don't worry about the, the brand and the price in terms of, oh, it's going to get ruined, I'll just wear a pair of cheap shoes. Wear what you think is best for you and worry about washing it later on because at the end of the day, you want to be comfortable throughout the duration of the course. And if you're someone like me who aims to complete the event in a good time, obviously running in a proper running shoe or a proper trail shoe is going to be a lot more beneficial than sticking to the cheap, nasty um, department store shoe. Anyway, that's just my tips for running Tough Mudder. Um, let us know your thoughts. What do you run in? What have you found works? What doesn't work? Do you regret running in a shoe like this, uh, like I do? Comment below and please subscribe for more videos on Tough Mudder, how I train, and everything like that.